this is a new treatment that could bring patients who had suffered a stroke uh, fully functioning back to life and it is being made available across the NHS. It's really exciting. There's a groundbreaking procedure is called a mechanical thrombectomy and involves essentially a long wire being inserted into the bloodstream through a tiny hole in the groin. A stent is then fed up the artery, up the brockage, into the brain. It's extraordinary what they say Incredible. can just be done, isn't and it? And then you see what happens here. Uh, the wire mesh expands and it surrounds the clot there and then they pull that backwards, the clot comes out with it, blood flow goes through the vein. Uh, Dr Sarah Jarvis joins us here today. Loving this, um, really, is this, is this available now? Well, the answer is until now, it's only been available in a tiny handful of hospitals because this is new stuff. We've been gradually developing the techniques that are involved. And of course, this isn't just the gizmos. This isn't just that, those incredibly clever wire meshes that open up and close up and go in through your groin and don't damage all the rest of your arteries. It's the people, and that's mm. the real key. And this is actually the real key here is a combination of surgeons and also radiologists because they we used them doing x-rays but actually here they have to get the imaging because of course if yeah. you open that wire up in mm -hmm. the wrong place mm -hmm. but again this is the sort of technology that cardiologists would be used yep. to wouldn't they absolutely and of course that's one of the reasons that we've moved away from this idea of saying right a heart attack is a heart attack it's a medical emergency heart time is muscle where heart is concerned and everybody gets rushed straight in we have kind of assumed in the past that stroke well you couldn't do much about now we're thinking very differently indeed a brain attack not a stroke so again time is brain tissue because this has to be done within six hours I mean it's just fantastic we talked to we talked through there what happens and it's a stuff of science fiction yeah. you can't believe someone you know an ordinary person someone's son is doing that or daughter um, but I guess the potential is so huge because it cuts down on the drugs that would have to be used. It gives people a chance of fully functioning life Rehabilitation, back. physio. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So we need to bear in mind it's not going to help absolutely everybody. St George's who've been piloting have been saying, well, 90% of people have been able to get the clot back. But actually a study done last year suggested still extraordinary figures. If you use these clot-busting drugs, mm. they saw about 20% of people making a real improvement. With this surgery, they were seeing 50 percent of people so you know in other words two and a half times more people it won't work for everyone it won't work for people who've already had a stroke and we do need to think fast so is your face drooping can you lift your arms is your speech affected if any of those t f a s t time to call an ambulance now mm -hmm. okay when would we be likely to see this in day-to-day -day operation? Well, it's being rolled out across the country, apparently, according to Simon Stevens, the NHS head, and he's saying it should be available in about 24 hospitals. So it's not going to be available in your local cottage hospital, yeah. but that's because it's a really specialist procedure and we need to train up these radiologists. Well, it's fantastic to hear a good medical story like that. So many mm -hmm. people, uh, you know, just affected by the curse of uh, strokes and things. So thank you very much, Sarah. Good news.